I'm Kelly. I'm Kristen with the Salty Beaches. And today we're playing Egg, Egg on, on Your Face. Face. Egg roulette with an embarrassing twist. This is okay. a mistake. We seen this video on um, Ro and Mo on YouTube and we figured this would be a good video to make or even kind of just fun to do. I like how she says just a fun thing to do. We have 12 eggs here. Eight of them are hard boiled and four are not. When we watched the Roe and Mo video, they had brown eggs. People had said that you can kind of tell which ones were darker or lighter so you'd know which ones were the, the hard boiled egg. We got white ones. I'm not that smart. I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> they all look the same to me. I don't know. So after we hard boiled them, we made sure that they were all room temperature. We waited around, played a few games of crazy eggs. Basically, we're gonna play war. We're gonna shuffle these cards right now. We're gonna deal out, well, we're gonna just half the pack. Yeah, sure. You know, nobody got time to deal out cards. Everybody knows how to play war. Ace is the high card. High card wins the round. Low card has to smash the egg. Smash the egg on their head. So that might be a little smash if it's a hard boiled egg or it might be a disgusting smash. I can't wait. On top of the war and on top of the egg roulette, We've decided to make it a little more interesting. This is where the egg in your face part comes on. If you are the loser of the round, if that's not bad enough, you have to tell an embarrassing story. I can come up with something. <laughs> You're gonna come up with a lot. All right. Okay. okay one, three, two. two. Oh. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> can I pick out your egg? Sure. I do love a fascinating. Oh, I'm going to an Easter soiree. <laughs> so I guess this is my turn to tell an embarrassing story. Yeah. Okay. Anything. Tell the story of the moose. The, the moose, moose is my favorite embarrassing story. It's not even really embarrassing. It just. Well, it's not really embarrassing. It makes Kristen seem not very smart. Christmas morning, probably I don't know, five years ago or more. I had to work Christmas Day, so I work really early. So around five o'clock, I hit the highway to come back to St. John's. About 15 minutes outside of St. John's, it was raining really, really hard. There was so much water, I was going really slow. I seen a moose, I wasn't going very fast, um, so I seen a moose. Then all of a sudden I seen two other moose, there was three in the road. I tried to stop. When I hit the moose, he kind of toppled onto my car. Just knocked him down. <laughs> Just knocked him down, but he didn't like come through the windshield or anything. It wasn't a disaster, it wasn't really that horrible. Like I was going so slow that I had enough time to slow down. But then, um, I immediately like locked the doors just in terror, like not like the moose is gonna get in. <laughs> not exactly sure what I was thinking. I remember when we called you because we were wondering how you were. You said we, you know, you hit a moose. We were really worried at first, Thank and we said, me. "What did you do?" And you said, "I locked the doors." It's kind of getting a little bit hard there. Mm. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, three, two, one. <laughs> I was excited to this play is, this, like I was pumped, but I mean, this is I'm not game. sure that it's fair that I have to do all of the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> that felt really hard. Oh no. Now I have to do another embarrassing story. Yep. This is also from a few years ago. Me and two of our good friends, our guy friends from home, uh, I guess my name doesn't really matter. Michael and uh, Peter. It was a hot summer evening. We were gonna go swimming. We walked through the woods and went to this pool, which seemed awesome. I didn't have a bathing suit or anything with me, but I thought I'd go with my skibbies. <laughs> so we swam, and at the end of it, I got up and like ran around the side to I think the diving board. And when I was standing up on board, I realized that there's traffic driving along the back side of it. And I'm there in my underwear. Didn't you take a cab home? I did. In I your took underwear? A, took a cab home in my, yeah. I did have a towel <laughs> on me. And... Three, two, two one. one. I don't, did you, did you shuffle them? I these? did, I can shuffle them again if you want. Uh, three, two, one. 
We didn't say, but the Joker actually means that we both had to do it. We both crack an egg. So this we is going to be my yeah. first egg. I feel like I should pick yours. All right, sure. Okay, let's do it. You're a glutton for punishment. Oh, no, no. Oh, you have to tell an embarrassing story. Okay, do I even have any more stories? Earlier she said, I'm sure I won't need to think of very many embarrassing stories. It's one of the chances that I'll get all four. <laughs> so I went on a date with this guy. This is a few years ago. Thought it went really good that next evening. I think he might have even asked me to do something that afternoon, but I ended up going for coffee with my friends that next evening. We were in the lineup, I looked ahead of us, and he was on a date. <laughs> with another girl? With another girl. But who is this guy though, first off, who calls up a girl, is like, do you want to go for a coffee this afternoon? And then she says no, and he, what, does he have like a Rolodex and he goes and gets the next girl's Maybe. number? Maybe. Who is this Don Juan? Of yeah. St. John's. I know. The Casanova yeah. of Mount Pearl. Yeah. I told my friend Nicole this like in the line as soon as they kind of went on and she's like, okay, we're immediately sitting right next to them. <laughs> and I texted him just to make sure he knew that I was there <laughs> and asked him how it was going and he obviously couldn't just like get up and go and like say this to the girl so we had to like pretend like everything was normal. <laughs> it was great. Three, two, two one. What do we do? Uh, we could either do another card or no, just both go through one. One, two, three. Yay! Yay. Oh, look, mine's got. Cheers. Cheers. Mine's got uh, egg yolk all over the outside from my hands <laughs> and my dirty hair. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh! I did two cards. We'll pick your first one. Okay. Yeah! I'm really good at this game. I lettered an egg roulette in university, actually. I think the lemonade was a good pairing. <laughs> With what, the eggs? All right, three, two, one. Woo! One out of three chance. Ah! Oh, it didn't break. It didn't break. Okay, well. You gotta break this. Smash it again. This is a golden egg. It's gonna give me a concussion. I feel like you gotta, you gotta smash it. This is a 50-50 chance egg right here. <laughs> Three, two, one. Are you nervous? Because you might not have to wash your hair. This is, could be like the most amazing day in the world. <laughs> okay. When I lived in Saudi Arabia, I went to an embassy and a party. And after it, there were not many people around. And like on the uh, diplomatic quarter, you didn't have to wear your abaya. So I came out with it in my hand and realized then there was no washroom anywhere in sight. So I was like, I'm gonna take a quick pee behind like this tanker. I didn't realize that there was actually people in those tankers, um, guards, <laughs> I guess. So I had like one of my friends hold the abaya just like, Covering me, I peed, and then all of a sudden I looked up and the men, like the guards, were like on the other side of me. <laughs> Where's that class? It's it congealed. So I feel really bad because Kristen told all the embarrassing stories. So I'm gonna tell an embarrassing story just so she doesn't feel bad because that's how friendship works. Uh, my first real job that I had ever gotten in my entire life, I was really proud of myself. I was just out of university and um, it was working in an office. But I slept in. <laughs> well, like, usually people are like nervous for their first job like that. I was. Can't sleep. That's I couldn't sleep. sleep in. The only thing that I could find that was quick to put on was uh, leggings. At the end of the day, I got home and realized that 100% you could see very well through my pants. No yeah, underwear did you have? Big um. granny panties, so it looked like, I mean like, these were like bathing suit bottoms, they were huge underneath. Um, and they had pineapples all over them. <laughs> <laughs> you salty beach. That's what oh. friendships are for. With friends like you, who needs enemies? Thanks for watching the Salty Beaches. If you want to become a salty subscriber, you can click on this egg right here. Thanks, for, Thanks watching. for watching. Bye. Bye. Is it
Do we want to say it at the same time? Like we're playing egg roulette. And today we're playing egg on your face. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that I was supposed to talk. Alright. Okay. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm Kristen. I kicked the dog. Okay, now we're both not gonna say I it. kicked a wheel hard. We're playing egg roulette. And I thought it was egg. Egg on your face. Egg. Oh yeah. So egg roulette. Yeah. Or egg on your face. Today we're playing egg, egg on your. That's gonna take a couple drops. <laughs> <laughs> <Guaranteed. laughs>